I am Lisa, the love coach, and I am back with 20 great questions to ask on a date. This time I'm bringing you number 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Let's roll. And stay to the end because I'm going to tell you what you can do right now for free if you want to get a handle on your love life. All right, ready? Here we go. Number 11, great question to ask on a date. Do you have any pets? Do you have any pets? We love the pets. Or maybe you don't love the pets. Either way, you got to know, do they have pets? Do they not? How do they roll with the pets? So I have a dog. And so I definitely like to volunteer the fact that I have a dog by asking if the person has a dog. Now, my current boyfriend did not have a dog, but... I felt it necessary to find out if he had a pet, if he didn't, was he allergic to pets? I asked the allergy thing before, that was another question, but flat out asking, do you have any pets, will show you how open they are to pets. So that if you get with somebody and you're on a date and they absolutely cannot stand pets, they hate them, they don't want any dogs, cats, nothing, you're gonna know that. And listen, if you have a pet, you know how it is when you have a pet. They came first. So that person might not be a match for you. And you want to know that as soon as possible. Moving on to number 12 on the list of 20 great questions to ask on a date. Number 12. What are the most valuable lessons that you've learned in life so far? Top most valuable lessons you've learned in life. Go for it. Hit me with them. What do you think? This is so broad and so fun a question that they could get funny with it. They could get comedic with it. They could get very serious with it. They could choose categories. All of their answers, because it's such an open-ended question, is go it's going to tell you so much about this person. Let's say I asked that question. So what are some of the most valuable lessons that you've learned in life so far? That guy might turn around and say, well, for one thing, Definitely learn how to change a tire. You must learn how to change a tire. And then he'd launch into a story about how it was so cool that he knew how to change a tire and he was able to help these women on the side of the road who did not know how to change a tire. And he ended up making $300 because they felt so grateful and thankful. And now he has this wonderful story and how changing a tire can change your life. And a lesson that he learned. So that was like not really telling me a whole lot but yet it did. It told me that he was gentlemanly, chivalrous, willing to help, and he's not afraid to get dirty, changing a tire. See, so any question that you ask can garner information if you know what you're listening for. Do you know what you're listening for? If you struggle with this kind of stuff, head on over to lovequestcoaching.com, check out my free love life assessment, and just tell me, girl, I saw your video about the questions to ask on a date. And typically, when I go on dates, I'm just trying to fill the dead air, space, quiet, awkward. I don't know what to do. I talk about ridiculous things. This list was helpful to me. And so now I want to know what I need to be listening for so that I stop dating losers and start closing in on the one. So with that, number 13. What are your favorite foods? This is huge. People don't think it is. What? Have you ever been like full-blown carnivore and then you go on a date and someone's like hardcore vegan? Oh my God. And they're like, no, you really shouldn't be eating that. You know, you shouldn't eat steak. And meanwhile, you're like, I love steak. I eat the steak. I wear the leather. I love it all. Right? But they can't jive with that. So that tells you if the person might not be for you. So what are your favorite foods? Personally, I can't trust anyone who doesn't eat carbs. Do not come at me with that carb, gluten, fake pasta. Uh -uh. No, no good. I want somebody I can sit down and carb out with. Not all the time, but you know, nothing wrong with a little pizza. Mmm, delicious. So what are your favorite foods? And guys, what are your favorite foods? Always is a good way to launch into the other question of, do you ever cook any of these favorite foods for yourself? Then you could learn 
if you cook. And typically women who do cook, they're gonna volunteer that. They're gonna volunteer that information if they're smart. I cook, right? So one of the things that I always volunteer when I'm talking about food with guys on dates, I can cook. So when I start getting into that conversation about that, I'm like, yeah, I love to cook that. It's like, you know, my favorite thing is to make. And then they're like, you know how to cook? Apparently, women don't know how to cook these days. It's a hot commodity, a lady who knows how to cook. So, what are your favorite foods? Always a fun thing. And it can always launch into date number two, date number three. You're talking about food and you're like, oh my God, I love the sushi. The sushi is so great. Sashimi, amazing. What's your favorite sushi joint? Oh, I don't know. What's your favorite? Oh, I went to this place and it was good and then it kind of sucked. But there's a new place. I heard of it too. Let's go. Date number two lined up just like that. Oh, thank you. All so complimentary. Everybody's being so nice today. Thank you. Okay. Number 14. Where have you traveled and what was your favorite? If you're into travel, this is a good question because if somebody says to you, yeah, I don't really like to go on airplanes, I never really traveled much, might not be your person, might not be your person. So it's a good question to ask very upfront. Um, conversely, you can learn a lot about how people travel. So if you're like a traveler like I typically am, where I'm all about the luxuriation nation and I just want to be on a lounge chair and do some excursions here and there, but you know, chill and luxuriate, that's my vibe. Give me a little swim up bar, some nice cocktails, beautiful dinners, dress me up at night and get me some fun like zip lining and cool stuff to do during the day. That's how I roll. Now, if somebody's coming at me and they're saying, Oh yeah, so I went to travel and I went to Antarctica and we hiked and it was really cold and I love adventure travel. In fact, I love to travel to places that are remote where I don't even know if I'm going to live. I'd be like, wow, amazing. Probably bored by my type of travel, but hey, send me a postcard from wherever you are. Next question. How do you handle fear and what really freaked you out these days? What's got you freaked out? How do you handle fear and what's got you freaked out? Perhaps it's me. Perhaps you're freaked out a little bit by this crazy lady asking me all these questions on a date, but I doubt it because it's the way that you're asking. You're leaning forward, you're interested, look at the body language. So tell me, what's got you freaked out these days? What an open question. You could go so many different ways with this. You could be like, oh, Donald Trump's got me freaked out. Or opposite, Joe Biden's got me freaked out. Gropey, gropey, whatever, whatever their deal is. It doesn't even have to be politics. They could be like a total sports buff and they're like, you know what's got me freaked out, dude? I don't know what the Yankees are going to do. What the hell? Everyone's injured. You know what I mean? It could go anywhere, but it shows you where their priorities are and what they're thinking about and what, how light and casual they want to be on, on the date and really, you know, what they're interested in. So let's take that example. Let's say I'm on a date and somebody says, so Lise, like, what are you most freaked out about these days? Like, how do you handle fear? I'd say, wow, what a really cool question. I mean, really made me think. Hmm. What's got me freaked out? Well, after 15 years with my car, my beloved Klaus, my beloved Klaus, 15 years, it's, it's elderly time. He's going into the car, you know, heaven into the distance and I'm trying to wrap myself around that. It's not really a fear, because I know I'll be fine, I'll just lease another car, but I think it's just the letting go of something that I gave a soul and a personality to AKA my car. So this is going to tell the other person so much about me. Number one, I give a soul and a name to inanimate objects. And I know that people love their cars, especially when they buy them and own them and go through memories and things with them. I mean, maybe not. I don't know if this is what I am like, so whatever. But that could lend itself to so much more conversation. He could ask, what kind of car is it? What made me buy it instead of lease? All these questions, which then inspire more conversation where that guy, if he's got a brain in his head, will learn more about me and will know what to listen for. See? 
So there you go. I just served up another blast of questions. If you're loving them, comment below, add some more questions to the mix. I would love to hear your questions that you like to add on dates, that you've had a great, great success in finding out tons about the person in an easy, breezy, light way, and that they didn't feel like it was an interview, because who wants to feel like that? You just want to have these nice, open-ended conversations where you're listening. Hello? listen for the things that you want to hear so that you can determine if they are a fit for you. There you go. So like this video. What else do I have to ask you to do? Oh, comment below, share the video, and visit lovequestcoaching.com for the entire list of the top 20 Questions to ask on a date, you can put that sucker on your phone and you can have them out with you. You could even use them on road trips when you're with someone. Just be like, hey, I got some questions for you. So um, yeah, head on over to lovequestcoaching.com. There also, I have something for free, yay for you, a free love life assessment. So if you're watching this video and you're like, damn, I am the worst conversationalist ever on a date. Man, this video lit me up. Or whatever issue you have going on in your love life, head on over to lovequestcoaching.com and check out my free love life assessment and we'll get together and connect and I'll hopefully give you some more insights and more information that you can use in your dating and love life. Thanks so much, guys. I'm Lisa, the love coach. Have a great night. Bye.